top executives are as a chairman, a first and second vice chairman, the secretary, myself, a treasurer, and we co op six to nine other members to assist us in the organization's business. We launched on the 23rd of August in 1993. So this year marked our 20th anniversary, and we did that in grand, stand, grand, grand style at the Grand Stand Savannah with a huge family fiesta. Of course, I will take all congratulations from that in writing, and I'll give you my email so that I can put it in my 20th anniversary supplement. Top financial membership as of what day is today? Friday? Wednesday was the high end of 29,000 financial members. Um, and I realized we are doing something wrong in that the average age for us in top is 65. So we are missing out on a huge market from 50 to 65. And that is because we Trinidadians don't like to, like Michelle here, associate too much. They don't want anybody to know they reach 50. <laughs> As Ms. Miller said, um, we also is an, uh, an NGO, and we are the largest NGO in Trinidad and Tobago, inclusive of the trade unions. So you know it's a market that is going to be very tough to break into. How we keep it, our members, um, we have developed 11 zones. And it's interesting to hear from Jamaica and Matnik, they have 23 zones, groups. And Dominica, I think it was Dominica, who said they had uh, 23 zo uh, groups. <coughs> we have 11 zones, and that's a lot to manage. So you need to let us know what it is you are doing. <laughs> Our rationale with the zones is, um, is nine in Trinidad and two in Tobago, is to keep the members connected in each community, to look for benefits in the community, so the top name is known in the community among the business people, to be a home away from home for the top members. There are groups that meet every week, like today, Friday, from 12 to 5. They get there, they celebrate their birthdays, they do their dancing, their singing, and whatever. Um, and then we encourage, among all the zones, a little competition, you know, a cultural competition, all foods competition. Um, and like Miss uh, Chin from Jamaica said, it is very rewarding when you meet up with the groups. And they said, Oh my God, that's mailing. You was an AFAC? I haven't seen you since primary school days. <laughs> it's really, really rewarding to see this connection and lost long friends come together, uh, you know, and rekindle that fire and we move forward. Um, our motto in top is enhancing the life of senior citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. And we do that at looking at their financial of course, everybody's on fixed incomes. Uh, so we have developed our discount booklet. Uh, Michelle will pass around and give you all some of the booklets. Uh, I think Bob has also uh, had booklets like that. Uh, so you give the, the participants who give you the discounts, you give them a little mileage, you know, and these, these booklets are free to top members. And also the advertising of the booklets pay for the production of the booklets. So we really don't pay to do that. We look at the social issues. Um, as I said, we do a lot of trips every year. Uh, you know, like Grenada just hosted a, a group from Trinidad. Uh, we do a lot, we, every year we'll do a cruise. Uh, we do a Cuba, we do a Curacao, we'll do a Margarita. So we do two or three outside uh, trips and plus we will do cruises every year. Of course, the various zones can also do those things among themselves. So we encourage the zones there to do even, uh, you know, some of the historical or tourist attractions in Trinidad that they go out and picnic and enjoy themselves. Each year, the government uh, would ask us also for, to do presentations on behalf of senior citizens. And uh, we are fortunate in that, well, we think we are, uh, that a lot of the benefits that senior citizens enjoy in Trinidad and Tobago is as a result of us making representations on behalf of senior citizens. 
for instance, our CEDAP program where senior citizens in Trinidad don't pay for drugs for most of their ailments. We get that free, the dental and the vision and, and these things, it's all free. Um, we are looking at getting all the senior citizens home. I think somebody mentioned uh, abuse of senior citizens or something like that. That is, that, that is a reality because when we think of, of abuse, it's not only lashing and hitting, it could be neglect, you know? It could be also neglect or emotional abuse. It's, it's, it's an abuse. So that is a, it's a function now of the division of aging that they look at. So all those things, we are looking at monitoring the homes and there are strict guidelines of homes. Of course, everything takes a while to get going. 